Hello, welcome to gpattutor.com. We are going to discuss about alkaloids. This chapter has been included in pharmacocurrency division of gpattutor.com. Alkaloids means the substances which are behaving like basic nature or basic substances. Initially, they have been defined as nitrogen containing basic substances obtained from natural sources. The nitrogen atom sometimes a part of heterocyclic ring or sometimes a linear side chain. They occur only in the vegetable kingdom. They are found in the form of a mostly salts and they are synthesized, I mean biosynthesized from amino acids and hence they are known as true alkaloids. Most of the alkaloids are also characterized as pseudo-alkaloids. The examples of the such a type are isoprenoids referred as terpenoid alkaloids, monoterpenoid alkaloids, sesquiterpenoid alkaloids from nymphaceae, diterpenoid alkaloids from econite. Classical example of this category is called econitin. Also, the heterocyclic ring system arises from the metabolism of either acetate mevalonate pathway, as in case of conine, which is a toxic principle of hemlock. Protoalkaloids are simple amines in which the nitrogen is not a part of the basic heterocyclic ring system. They are elaborated from amino acids. Simple amines like serotonin, mescaline, peyote, and also betaines. Thus, we can say that alkaloid is an organic compound of natural origin which contains nitrogen atom, is more or less basic in nature, which is limited, distributed in the plant kingdom. It is always present at the low doses and low concentrations in the plant and pharmacological properties are significant, sometimes toxic. These compounds are common in some reactions. They have the ability to precipitate by forming a general reagents were called alkaloids. The concentration have wide range of variation from few ppm in case of anti-cancer alkaloids of the Madagascar periwinkle to the 15 percentage of alkaloids as in case of cinchona bark. Only rarely do alkaloids contain plants of only one alkaline. Sometimes they contain virtually only one constituent, example hyosamine from the leaves of belladonna. In a given plant, the concentration of alkaloids can vary widely from part and some parts and may contain no or none. One example of this category, quinine, which accumulates in the trunk bark of the cinchona but completely absent from the leaves. Quinine accumulates in the seeds and bark of kuchi, holocena pubescens. They are also localized in the plant in the form of a particular salt, usually citrates, ma malates, tartrates, meconates, isobutrates and benzates. Sometimes they are present in combination with the tannins. Alkaloidal synthesis takes place at specific sites, usually growing root or lactiferous cells or chloroplast. The classical example of salt presence is opium contains morphine in the form of morphine meconoate. Usually, the main function of these alkaloids was not clearly elucidated, but they have been providing the protection to the plant from the external threats like microorganisms, drastic environmental changes, and etc. Coming to the physicochemical properties, the alkaloids have a molecular weight ranging from 100 to 900. Although most of these are bases that do not contain oxygen atom at liquid or liquids at ordinary temperatures, nicotine, spatine, and chlorine. Those that do not contain oxygen atoms crystallize solids. The basicity of alkaloids varies greatly since the property depends on the availability of lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom. 
the basic character of alkaloids allow them to form a salts with usually mineral acids mainly hydrochloric acid and nitrates and also other weak organic acids have been used like tartrates sulfamates and maleates they have been detected by using some types of specific chemical reagents as well as they give color reactions with the subgroup of alkaloids for example para dimethylamino benzaldehyde which is very popularly known as van urk reagent have been used to find out the presence of ergot alkaloids silica ammonium sulfate is used to differentiate indole dihydroindole and enlinoacryl lactates Ninhydrin will find aryl alkylamines as well as primary amine compounds. Vitalimorin gives the reaction for tropic acid. The reagents containing ferric chloride in the presence of hydrochloric acid will give a positive reaction with the tropolones or in case of perchloric acid, Rolfil. The other common reagents have been also employed for their presence and their Identification can be confirmed by using specific reagents. The general reagents used for their precipitation called alkaloids precipitating reagents. However, a negative test that is absence of precipitation may infer that alkaloids are absent. It's pertinent to mention here that positive test may not always indicate the presence of alkaloids. You are following Alkaloids chapter in Pharmacocency division of gpantutor.com. For more details of this chapter, please log on to gpatutor.com and get registered. gpatutor.com is a overall comprehensive website for providing practice material for the exam GPAT for pharmacy students. It will provide the online classes by means of respective videos. It will provide the subject material in a comprehensive and complete way and easy way of preparation. gpatutor.com will also give mock exams and practice exams like expert practice exams. You are following the Alkaloids chapter sample video. For more complete details, please log on to the gpatutor.com. Thank you very much.